Hi everybody, this is part two of my video. This is going to be just my abstracts in general. There's not really any expressionist piece, but uh, well, I mean, they're all kind of expressionist pieces when it comes to me. All my stuff has a little dark edge to it. Anyways, this is what I do in a session, guys. And I usually do maybe approximately 13 to 29 paintings a night. And so I start out with the big ones and I start working down the little ones. And so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to show you the big ones. I just did a lot of these you saw me do on YouTube. So here's one big piece. The noble ones. Okay, moving right along. I'm not going to sit there and take forever on these. <clears throat> one of my fun pieces, I just finished up. You guys got to see me do this on YouTube. Yes. Magnetism. Didn't that come out wild, guys? Yep. One of my soap resist pieces with spray paint and soap and resist. I like this piece. It's powerful. And moving right along. Another one of my techniques here is called marbleizers. Let's see if I can get this in here. It's kind of shiny. This one's called transformation, guys. And it's done on a 24 by 36. It's a big piece. Pretty heavy. My newest style. So that's a bigger piece that I just did. And another big piece. These are medium-sized pieces, 24 by 30s. This one's called when uh, when heaven calls. <laughs> Perfect name for this piece. Kind of has a Franz Klein movement, but I add a lot of color, a lot of sweeps, and a lot of motion. I paint pretty angrily, so I try to put the energy into my work. If you like this piece. <clears throat> of course, this is the last painting I did on YouTube. Neon Wild. Hope you guys like it. I ended up uh, making it go. Like like horizontal instead. I mean, what is that, vertical? Vertical, yeah, I went vertical with it. I, I chose horizontal, but then I said, man, it looks better this way. So I went with it this way. Because I like the way the stripes can, did cause the conversion in the mix, and it just kind of looked really good that way. So I'll call it Neon Wild. Hope you guys like this one. This is a fun one to do. Another soap resist painting. Okay, here's another painting that I just did. Wow, this one's a little tough to get out of here. Okay, here we go. This one's called Lively Gathering, and I do this with a lot of plastic and paper. So I use that. I paint with plastic and paper. It kind of has like an NFL coloring to it. You could use it with that. You could use it like that if you wanted to, but I call it Lively Gathering. It's just an expressionist abstract. Pretty nice little piece. Big piece. It's heavy. Okay, and I'm thinking of framing this one here. Same kind of method, but uh. I think I'm gonna frame in this one because it just kind of seems like it needs to be framed. Let's see if we can get it in there. There we go. There we go. See if I can turn around. There we go. Big piece. I like that. Same method as that one there. Done with plastic and paper and a lot of pool techniques. It's a big piece as well. Yeah, moving right along. Okay, so there's a medium sized piece. I like to use. A lot of grids, squeegees, and methods to do this particular pieces. This one's called Professional Activities because I did it in a professional gray. We used a lot of red for power and a lot of lively activities of lines going on and convergences along, along the edges here. And bounced off with two block circles. They're the main target of the business world. So business people like buying this stuff for me. So I, I paint this particular stuff for them. They dig it. Oh, and then I'm going to show you another one that I did. You guys like the soap resistance? This is just done in black and white. Just black and white. It's so powerful. It's called Entangled. And so this piece is one of the first of the series that I did with the soap and the spray paint and the paint and the acrylics. Hope you guys will like that. I hope you guys like that one. It's a cool piece. Powerful. 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 Okay, here's another piece that I just did. I did it in blue. Kind of a frame, Franz Kleinsy method. It's called Blessed America. And God, we need America blessed, guys. We really do. Anyways, hope that. That's my kind of my patriotic painting. Hope you guys like that. And into the black and whites. These are my favorites. These are the ones that I sell out the minute I paint them. They're very dark and kind of uh, edgy. It's called Deep Sorrows. 
my new method, and I uh, do a lot of these now because I sell them out the minute I do them. Anyways, they just have a lot of energy and a lot of uh, kind of a dark undertone to them. It's very difficult to do too. So I'm going to be showing you quite a few of those ones in a while. Okay, here's another type of piece that I did called Oneness. It's kind of a, another Franz Klein piece, but I do this in one strokes method. It means I don't ever take the brush off the canvas. I paint it in one stroke. You guys have probably seen me do this on YouTube. Uh, good examples of painting called Under a Minute. And add a little bit of flavor. I like this yellow piece, guys. It's called Caged in Yellow. Kind of reminds me of the England painting that I did a long time ago. It was, a, it was like a 28 by 42 inch painting. So this one's a little bit <laughs> kind of like that one, but it's smaller, of course. It's a good 16 by 20, that's a good size. Do, 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 do. Okay, another one of my uh, black pieces, uh, let's see, that one's called Developing. Another kind of a darker piece, of course it's thumb printed in the back as well, in my name. Another edgy piece, I love this style, I'm working it in a lot, I like the black and white and the gray. And this piece right here is called Serpentine. And you can kind of see the spar, uh, kind of like the snake serpent feeling in this piece, and that dark kind of undertone to it. Yeah, I'm very depressed sometimes, but it makes great art. I shouldn't say sometimes, I'm depressed all the time. But uh, when I paint, I'm happy. It's the only time I am happy is when I paint. This one's called Party Colored, and it's P A R T I. And I kind of derived it from a French painting, so. I just kind of liked it. It's the same plastic and paper method that I use to produce these type of uh, confetti looking paintings. Hope you like that piece. I'm almost done here. Well, no, I'm not. I got a whole table full. But with the medium sized pieces. Okay, so let me flip it around. This one's called Fuel Desire. And here I use a lot of electric drip black painting on top of a colored ground. So you really get those popping, you know, type of contrast. Fuel Desire, woo woo woo. Good piece. Very heavy canvases. I don't use cheap canvases, guys. I do not use hobby style canvases. I use heavy duty stuff. Okay, this one's called Rapid Neon. This is a nice piece. I, I was think I was gonna do this on YouTube, but I decided not to, but it's one of my first of the series as well. Rapid Neon, hope you like it. Another soap, another soap uh, resist painting. Okay, so let's get on to these other, let's do this little small one real quick. Look how cute he is. Like that? The try and the angles, guys. And I did this with just pieces of cardboard. And I'll show that in a video one of these days, how to do one like this. Okay, another one here. Urim within, which means uh, your am, which is uh, gold. It's the proper name for gold. So gold within. A lot of my stuff is in German, so I'm trying to get it into English translation for you guys. I like that piece. That one's called Good and Luck. <laughs> so I kind of like that piece. It has a nice feng shui with the red and the green. And I do a lot of these too. They're called my Heaven's Windows Connect, uh, Collection. I created this technique with a squeegee method. This one's called Windows of Royalty. It has the color purple and the yellow together signify royalty so i use color psychology in all my work that is a must so if you're a young artist study the colors you're using and use color psychology in your work study the psychology so just all you have to do is get, get on google start searching what the heck red and yellow means or red and blue means and try to put that in incorporate that into your art it makes powerful art that way okay another confetti piece Euphoria, that's a nice piece. It's a nice piece because it's got a lot of blacks and rich tones in it, but yet showed a lot of the canvas underneath. Another powerful plastic bag and paper technique. Okay. 
Did I get onto these? Let's get onto these. This one's called Earthly Matters. And this is a drip painting on top of a darkened colored ground. Kind of a Jackson Pollock drip piece. Earthly Matters, guys. I have a couple of that style. Here's another one. New Perspective. Another kind of Jackson Pollock type of drip painting. It's a black ground on top of a colored ground. Nice piece. Okay, another Heaven's Window type style piece. Spiritual Enlightenment. So I use a lot of the royal purples and the yellows. And that means spiritual tones. Got to use that psychology in your work. It's important you do that. Universal Love. The pink shades of that bright green. Those, those two colors right there are universally connected and known for love in the world. Okay, now... <laughs> One of my favorite pieces, of course. Devil's Nest. Some of my darker stuff. Now, I will just paint something really lively and yeah, delicate, and then I'll, so I'll turn around and do something like this right in the middle of it, right, right after I did something really nice. I have, like, the devil and the angel syndrome on my shoulder, but that's just how I paint. Anyways, Devil's Nest. Hope you guys like that one. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I got another black and white one here. Another one I did. Reverberate. And that's because it has a reverberating vibration. It's kind of like a bat calling. You know, like a bat having a signal to call its mate. Reverberate. Yeah, it's a nice piece. Oh, and this one kind of reminds me of the same kind of thing. Kind of has a kind of a cave feeling to it. Now, this one's called Dark Chamber. And as you can see, it's got that chamber that's entrapped inside of it. And then I use a nice liquidy form of abstract to peel on the outside. So I hope you like that one. It really pulls you in when you look at it. Kind of like one of those magic circles. Phew. Okay, I think I'm done here, guys. And anyways, that's what I paint. At whole, when I do a session, that's what I paint in a session. And I work until about 7.30 in the morning. I do this every single day. Guys, I grind this. And if you want to be a professional artist, you got to grind it, guys. you got to do this day in, day out. Now, I'm a little manic and I'm a little bit over-obsessive. But you know what? I have to do it because it gets rid of all my anger, all my issues. And I, make, I create beautiful art for the world. That's what I try to do. Anyways, guys, peace out. I hope you enjoyed that second series here. And I appreciate your support. Thank you.